What's good with y'all? Thunder's Rain here. I'm back at it again with another video, but this time it's about setting up a service similar to TweetShift. If you don't know what TweetShift is, it's a service used to send tweets straight directly to your Discord server. However, around the time of Elon changing Twitter to X, it made this service premium. I'm going to show you a way to get this set up for free using ReadyBot, RSS feeds, and disposable mail. To start things off, let's get that ReadyBot set up to enter your server by going to the website and adding the bot. Don't worry about looking for all the links to these websites. They're all in the description below. I got y'all. Don't worry about it. You want to get ReadyBot set up to join your server. So you're going to be going to the website and click sign in with Discord and authorize ReadyBot to access your info. Pretty sure it's safe. I don't think it's going to steal anything. Then head over to the add server button and choose which server you want to add the bot in. Next, click add bot and choose the default channel to post to, but this really doesn't matter as you can choose where posts from each Twitter account goes to. Once you're done with that, you're going to see you're going to be adding feeds for the bot to post. This is where the RSS feeds come in. Go to rss.app and sign up for an account. While this is going on, make a new tab and go over to disposable mail. Use the email address given here to make that new account on the RSS app so you don't have to worry about any spam or just being a one-time thing, as I'll explain later. Copy and paste the link of your desired account through the RSS feed creator. Once you're done with that, RSS will make a feed for you that you can use for your ReadyBot. Copy this link that it gives you here and paste it on your ReadyBot. Choose the desired channel you want the feeds to go to and that's basically it. You can make up to five bots for five different servers and I'm not sure on the feed limit per server though. But there's one big thing y'all should know is that the RSS feeds will expire after a while. You're going to have to create a new account using the disposable mail again and do the process of copying and pasting the Twitter links through the RSS feed creator. The only thing you have to do for the ready bot is to paste a new link from the RSS feeds into them again and what channels you want them to post to. Thank you so much for watching the content. I really hope they helped y'all with having Twitter feeds on your Discord servers again, because I know that's something I missed. If y'all have any issues setting this up, you can leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help y'all out through this process. Be sure to show me some support by leaving a like, maybe hitting that sub button if y'all really want to. But most importantly, pull up to my live streams at 2 p.m. PST. I'll be chatting and playing some games. See y'all in the next video. Stay safe out there and take care y'all.